Four years later, and she says her loss is unbearable. Cherie Harris is praying someone will come forward with information that will help find out who abducted, tortured, and left her son Tashmir Hopkins for dead on a stranger's porch. He just said he wanted to be there for his son. He wanted to be a good father. I'm on scene saying that he, he, I'm pretty sure he's dead. We're going to need MCU for this. So Taj was last seen May 2nd of 2018. It's around 2 or 3 in the afternoon. And Taj's girlfriend saw him leave the house, the home that they shared on McKenzie Street. Around 6 or 7 o'clock at night, several gunshots were heard. Taj's body was found on a porch uh, the next morning around 8.30. Sheree, first I want you to take me back to the day you learned of your son's passing. That whole entire day, I felt sick to my stomach. And then the detectives called about 3.45 and asked me, was he my son? And then they said to wait, that they were gonna, they needed to come and speak to me. And then they came to my job and sat me in a room and showed me a picture on the phone and asked me, was that my son? What was the picture of? Was it him on that front porch? Yes. It's been four years. Nobody has said anything. Even after you heard gunshots, when you know it's in the clear, at least you come outside and you look around to see, you know. So for you to just not come outside at all and look around and, cause you can, if you live right across the street, I'm sure you can, you could have seen his body. So I don't understand how nobody saw nothing. I just I don't understand. Out of all of his injuries, which one stuck out to say this was personal? Because it, it was very personal. The fact that they tied him up, the fact that you, you got him tied around the neck, like you up close, you, you got him naked. The way that his wounds were, they're very close, personal wounds to his face. He was shot four times in the head according to the autopsy. He was bound, he was gagged. It appears that uh, a message was, was trying to be sent, yes. He suffered. We were able to get documents from the courts in Chesterfield County, and it did show some sort of a beef between Taj and a man that was known to the family. So this is the last complaint that Taj Mir had against That's your son's handwriting, right? Mm-hmm. He just was evil. I, I'm not, listen, if I was to find out that he was the one who did something to my son, I wouldn't be surprised. What we're doing here, what do you hope comes about? They need to get on their job. They need to get into his Facebook. Two days after he was murdered, his Facebook was shut down. It was deactivated. They could find out who he met up with, who he was talking now, to. Can you get in with a search warrant? They said they can't get into it. You've been in law enforcement a long time. 32 years. years. You know your stuff. Travis Christian is the new chief of police down there, so there's a lot of changes. Uh, Kenneth Miller was the chief at the time. Uh, Travis was a deputy chief. He is now chief, and he has reassigned other detectives to this case now. The way that he was killed, I, and it was a large crime scene, if I remember, because I remember the day I went to the house, uh, where he was almost running a block down the street. Correct. So folks along that street had to have heard it, had to have seen something. You know, one thing I, I, I do know about uh, in, in law enforcement, as you said, people see things, people hear things. If you have gunshots going off in a neighborhood, somebody's gonna be paying attention, somebody's gonna look. About six, seven shots, man, about right before it dark, or it may have been dark. I didn't pay attention, but I paid attention to those shots. What have you instructed your guys to do as far as weeks to months to heat this thing up? Well, um, putting another detective on it, um, one, we're going to re-examine again all the evidence that was collected. He was uh, tied to this metal chair. This chair was overturned here on the porch and he was laying here. The chair is still on the porch. And I don't understand, because I'm sure it's evidence on that. Why do you think they left such a, a high profile thing like this, for instance, the chair? Well, I'm not aware of the, all the evidence uh, that was collected from the scene. I do know that there was a lot of evidence taken. Um, go back and canvas the area. Go back and canvas the area, not only for additional evidence, but for additional people that may have been around 
or heard something and hopefully we can kind of uh, turn over a stone that someone, someone may have missed. I've known Travis Christian, the chief of police in, in Petersburg for more than 20 years. And I think that he will do his due diligence to make sure we get a rap on this thing and, and somebody gets arrested. Um, but it, again, it all comes down to the folks out there that, are, that were close to Taj, the people that live on that street, what are they willing to tell to make this thing open up and, and thaw out? That's the big question because there are people on that street, St. Matthews, that have the answers. How deep does this go? Because people, for people to be that scared, to me, it has to be deeper than that. I just don't feel like he has peace. It's like this thing happened to him and it's, it's not solved. Like, I know what's happening to y'all family. Somebody needs to start talking. And it's sad that my grandson only got two years with his father because he was, he was a good father. Chief Travis Christian and others at Petersburg PD believe neighbors may know more than they're telling. If you have an anonymous tip about the case, call 833-RTCF-NVA or submit a tip via email to tips at reopenthecase.org.